so let's let's take a closer look. Let's go into the pictures instead of the video because I feel like it's a bit easier to work with and really hone in on specific things, right? How are we going to look at the pictures? Of, oh, Women's Wear Daily. <laughs> Women's Wear Daily, baby. This is my go-to when uh, Vogue tells me to subscribe. I know, I know. You know, um, it used to be style.com. Back in my <laughs> day, it was style.com, and that's where you studio, you way. say. Yeah, and then um, Vogue bought style.com, and now it sucks. Right. So okay. let's say I actually, opening look, this surprised me, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's, uh, well, let's just break it down uh, factually what it is. It's a double-breasted beige blazer and vest and yeah three-piece uh, suit shorts, but the, yeah. the shorts not even bermuda shorts maybe you would call this bermuda short three-piece suit sense. bermuda shorts big old galoshes big old <laughs> rain boots and the digital camo pattern and then is that a hat bermuda. or is that the model's hair hat i believe hat. okay kind I was of like, like a paper boy type you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Hat. so uh zoom in on the bag again for me yeah like that that looks good. Like that looks yeah. like it's it's probably an exquisite accessory. Oh, I think that that looks yeah. really nice. And I, I at least I like the, the I like the uh, but you know, I, I'm thinking like it's like the the helmet laying bag and the Jill Sander bag and the Yeah. Uh, the that's lunch maybe bag. why I like it. The yeah. lunch bag. But is it uh, do I think that nobody else could have come up with this now? But Right. No. Let's let's keep going cuz this is really interesting. I don't like the ghillie that. suit. Oh, yeah. The ghillie suit is rough. I don't think that yeah. any person... I think if a person wore a ghillie suit, I think they would be a friggin' weirdo. I think it's unfortunate that some absurdly talented person probably spent like 4,000 hours... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...cutting these monogram little yes. charms out. Like, you the, know? the short... You know, the short... The suit with the shorts, it's a sharp look. I think that's yeah. cool. I would wear that in a heartbeat. But... Sure, and... Uh, in the, the discord, as we were watching live, um, one of the, the members was very high on this tie, maybe not personally thinking that it was like a great thing, but just being like as a brand for Pharrell, for Louis Vuitton, it's this tie is going to do gangbusters and you're going to see. Oh, it hell yeah. Hell you know? yeah. I mean, yeah. Accessory. It's an accessory. <laughs> I yeah. think that that that's, but I also think they've done something very similar to that. And I could be confusing them with Dior. But yeah, yeah. I mean, if if they haven't done exactly this, they've been close. Absolutely. Okay. Um, that is just a freaking weekender bag. Yeah. We're Smash going through pass. Really pass. Right now. This look pass, dude. It's fine. Pass. And I, I am being critical. Remember, guys, yeah. I sang for us phrases. I have mm -hmm. I already established him as one of the, the minds of our generation. Mm -hmm. And this entire thing is a massive accomplishment. Mm -hmm. But if I'm gonna be as if I'm going to be as critical as possible, yeah. this look pass. Look three, I don't know. Nothing the, the nothing. fit of this leather green leather jacket is one of the wackiest things I've seen in some time. And you know, like we said, we're not seeing it in motion like we're supposed no. to. We're not seeing it in person. Oh, one thing I want to point out. Please. And I said this to you when we were starting. I just want the audience to know, mm -hmm. keep in mind, you know, there are hot, there's high fashion and then there are the brands that do it crazy where yeah. their prices are ludicrous, where they make clothes for bizarre economic reasons. Mm -hmm. Louis Vuitton's clothing is, if you ever get to see it in real life and touch it and feel it, it is the nicest. It is truly the toppest tier yeah. of high fashion. So, you know, caveat for all of that. All of these right. clothes are like exquisite. Yes. But, you know. But, and yes. this is the type of thing though that uh, it's this weird economic proposition where it really is all about this show and the buzz because they're going to make, probably you can count on one hand how many of these jackets they're going to make. Two. But that bag? Uh, yeah. They'll be selling a lot of those bags. Yeah. The digital camo little like messenger explorer yeah, bag yeah, thing. Yeah. They are Woo! copying Mark Jacobs camera bag that he did mm -hmm. like 10 years ago now. <sighs> okay. I'm being critical. I don't like that. Yeah. No. 
I don't like it. <laughs> We've got enough. You know? The digital camo is at its most digital Minecraft right now. Yeah, he's Minecraft pilled. He's wearing the the, the Mary Jane Doc Martens. Yep. Um, and that trunk, no me gusta. I, I, you know, yeah. guys, like, it's fine. It's fine. Even if I come, maybe I will come to change my mind on all of this. I open that up, and I would love to be made a fool. I'd Listen, the first be- Virgil show, I think had some very similar sentiments being expressed right yeah but i I, but but like at least for me at least knowing my thing is like Mm -hmm. i saw that show and i went this is really exciting listen i know it did he didn't reinvent the wheel but yeah look at the look at this collection he took a huge swing yeah okay but here's an important point on accessories think about virgil's time the um like millionaire and billionaire sunglasses right Mm -hmm. he did with nego yeah. Let's zoom in. Let's look at the sunglasses. Enhance. Here. Enhance here. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Pass. Right? <laughs> so the thing about those, those uh, the Virgil sunglasses was they were kind of like zonked out. They were, they were like zonked. Active center, right? Uh, yeah. These are, are, they're taking a step back towards the center. Much more standard type of, type of vibe here. And, and the other thing I would say about the virtual sunglasses is this. Yeah. It's like, you know, people will tell you, oh, don't you know that like one company makes all the sunglasses and you pay too much? Yeah. And it's like, don't you get it? I'm not making a, a rational choice. Right. Um, but those sunglasses were like, there were like t- three times the amount of plastic, you know, or yeah. acetate or whatever. They, they I- were different they were built different as i have the exact same thing with balenciaga because i do a lot of balenciaga videos on my channel and i've done like all the big sneakers you know triple s and track and all that and every time there's some people that come into the comment section like but they're made in china like that's a whack and i'm like i don't care this thing has three souls motherfucker three count them i'm i'm not i'm not thinking about where they make it i'm just thinking like Ooh, she chomped. What is you know in what I mean? front of me, you know? <laughs> yeah. and, and also, oh, yeah, China wouldn't know how to make anything. They just make everything. Everything. <laughs> Keep going. Here we go. Okay, so now here's where I want to talk about the tonal shifts that this show takes and the sheer, uh, uh, the plethora of different designers and brands and eras that are being referenced throughout this show because I feel like, hold on. The first look, the beige suit and the green leather jacket, and now up to this kilted, like, um, uh, damn it, what do you call these? Brooched look. They're all different, completely different looks and vibes, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think tonality, I honestly, I think this, I honestly don't even want you to stay on this look because I think it's boring. And yeah, that's all. That's my problem. Yeah, it's like I'm like, eh. same thing like here. That. I don't like it. It's not good. I, this one's not good. I don't really like this. I don't. It was like not a good looks. start. It was re- It was a very it bad. It gets start. better. There it are does. better. There's better looks. We have yeah. our smash and pass. It's fine. <sighs> I mean, it's you know, I think it's kind of good. Can you show me the boots? Yeah, like those are kind of cool. Kind of cool. And this is like kind of some some Virgily suiting, right? It kind of has a bit of that vibe to it. Sure. And you know, I do think the ties are they're a cool thing. And yeah, ties maybe, are good. Maybe finally menswear will come into vogue, like I've been predicting. <laughs> right, right. Five years. You know, you just keep saying it. Eventually, it'll come around. Eventually, yeah. Um, I think, like you know, um, that when I used to go to work, when I used to have a job, I think mm-hmm. that that guy's the bouncer um, in, at the, the building. You know, you go in, you have to show him, you, you have to like tap your ID. Yeah, it's giving like a Frank Ocean in Prada at the Met Gala, you know? Yes, but. But. You know, but, <laughs> you know it's like, okay. And again, I'm, look at this bag. Like, it's probably beautiful but probably i don't beautiful. think that that's an attractive bag for me right. and you know i it's all subjective i also think that often the most bold and interesting mm-hmm. designs will be the ones that 
sometimes you look at it and you go, that is hideous. I want nothing yeah. to do with this. Yeah. But then you realize that it was the iridescent bags. The iridescent bags, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But this is kind of like, uh, I think that brand Giuseppe or um, whatever it's called, that they make the sneakers. I, I've just seen yeah. this. Yeah, and I, I don't think people are going to Louis Vuitton to buy this bag, you know? You might be surprised. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I'm but really I think angry. ultimately people buy the most boring things. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, boring. Boring. We're, we're about to get Keep somewhat going. out of the digital camo. You know we'll what? Just... You you can go and stop when you feel like you see something interesting. Like okay. that trench coat. Is, that's what is I was about cool. to say. We can, we can chill here for a sec. Um, that's right. like, I'm sure that that coat would be like the most supple, most oh exquisite God. piece. Like if I wrapped myself in that, like to run to the bodega, yeah. like I, 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 I would become a billionaire. Like that's right. the bit, I'm right. sure that's a billionaire's coat. It's beautiful. I really like that shade of green, but mm -hmm. are you blowing my mind? It looks know. kind of like a, like a Hermes menswear. Yeah, thing. big Hermes vibes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we've got to talk a little bit as we go this about looks some of these references. Kind of Ferelli. Do you think it looks like the guy from? Uh... Go ahead, speak. I, I was I was gonna bring up um, Nigo and Kenzo. Uh -huh. I think it it there's various points throughout this collection where it's heavily going into that kind of like Wes Anderson Twee Tyler the Creator direction with the kind yeah. of beiges and the short shorts and the like cute european bellboy suiting you know i you know what i think yeah. that that should have been the direction that this went in mm -hmm. i almost think yeah tyler the creator should be the creative director i, I don't that? know because yeah i listen maybe we're getting caught in the weeds but i think yeah. if they leaned harder into the yeah. Wes anderson thing I want to. I I do want to chill there. I think that's a valuable point. That at least if Tyler was doing it, I think there would be a very very clear sense of direction to this entire endeavor. You know, like I was just responding. Yeah. Um, no, I like listen. I I think that what one of the things we kind of wanted to see was mm -hmm. those big old Perel hats or <laughs> what we like, needed them. The, I think if we saw like that Wes Anderson kind of like zaniness, yeah, there would have been something more impactful. Right. And ultimately, one of the things I will say is, even though further in the show the colors get a little more colorful, mm -hmm. there are different shades, and there are also some looks that I think are excellent. Mm -hmm. um, like I just like the look, and and you know, like I just said. I don't think you should look at runway shows and go, do I like this? Do I want to wear this? That's how I'm going to judge whether or not it's good. I, yeah. I think there are a lot of things that I look at and say, I'm never putting that on my body. And I yeah. also think that it looks ugly to me, but I, but I can appreciate this a lot. Right. More. Um, Absolutely. But the worst thing you can be is boring. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, I kind of have qualms. Like, listen, I, I think he yeah. did a good job. I think he yeah. did a good job. But there isn't, like, at least for me, there isn't, mm -hmm. like, a piece where I feel like everyone's going to talk about it. Or no. you're going to see it, like, oh, you're in Soho. You're walking down the street. It's yeah. Mercer Street. That guy has it. What? Right. Has what? A, a ghillie suit on? Uh, let's, uh, let's skip ahead now to the... Uh... I don't know the the damier section because it was a full blown section. Damier, right? yeah. So, like, yeah. I don't hate it. I don't hate yeah. this. It's 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 a bit more streetwear. It's a bit like a. Uh... Oh, oh! All right, geez. you got to go to bed. Yeah, we got to end the podcast. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Am... Hello. Uh all right, guys. I guess I. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, you're. I think so. Maybe. Hello. All right. Yeah. Hey, guys. Don't worry. Yes. Our podcast will just sometimes goof. It goofs, and that's fine. Um. Yeah. It, it's got some like uh almost like who decides war vibes almost with the treatment of the denim. Uh. But you start getting the checkerboard in here, and then it starts coming in 
full force. And like here, that's, this is more interesting. This is yes. definitely a more interesting look. Yes. Because this is not like, like there, it, it does not feel conservative to me mm-hmm. in any way. I think that this is a, this is a raunchy, crazy kind of thing. I think that Bumblebee bag is moving in the direction of that's a, yes. a accessory that people are going to notice. These are going to sell. I think all of these different colorful checkerboard pieces are, I think going to be the most lucrative for them out of yeah. this collection. And listen, the, all the details on this trench coat, like this oversized, you know, trucker pocket right here and these flaps coming down, there's some really interesting stuff happening kind of under the surface. Yeah. Of this. And like I said, this is probably the most exquisite overcoat we, we Ooh. ever done did. So exactly. Um, Keep flipping, keep flipping. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. You know, again, right. good accessories. I could see yeah, these better. Doing well, not doing well. The, the sneakers are weird. I don't know about those, but yeah, yeah. bowling shoes. Yeah, yeah, those are bowling shoes. I don't know. This one caused some stir. I Why? Would because say. it's a, a lady. No, Christian. No, why? Ladies why? are allowed on the runway too now. Yeah. Um, because it's a, a leather. A leather. Leather. Rugby shirt. I think mm, that is honestly that is one of the few looks that has really stood out to me. Like I remember, I memorized it. Yes. So I yep. don't think it's a bad thing. No, but, no, it's not. It's I don't think it's a bad thing either. I think it's it's tough to be doing this so close to that Bottega show where like everything was everyday stuff, but was actually leather. Um, yeah, I think it's a tough juxtaposition, but. This one is burned into my brain. Yeah. And the shorts too, the checkerboard leather. Yeah, that's cool. Shorts. That's cool. And you I know? like how it's styled. And I think the model is really giving those vibes, you know, like yeah. your you're trust the Gossip Girl. XOXO Gossip Girl. <laughs> right, right, right. This is their look. Keep flipping. Not bad. Not bad. Not gonna bad. do good. Gonna do good. Yeah, it's gonna Again. probably do some numbers, but I guess this is my point. Like mm-hmm. with Virgil's accessories, they were like, dang, yeah. like it was Louis Vuitton, but there was no mistaking it for the past. Yeah, these are are nice, and I like them, but some of these still kind of feel like even the vibrantly colored ones. It's like Louis Vuitton probably would have gone there eventually. Yeah, like that's like, cool. Like that's a cool jacket. I think um, the jacket is maybe a, a sleeper success of the show, especially given the fact that, you know what? We're going back to this. That jacket is probably going to cost like $30,000. Yes. But the fact that Jay-Z that at the Jay-Z. after show wore the, the brown checkerboard moto jacket, yeah. I think this is going to be a, a big like grail piece for them out of this collection. Yeah, but nobody will be able to buy it. No, no, of course it's, not. It, the thing is, it's not going to be like, oh, I'm going to save up. You will never be able never, to afford ever, it. Ever. It will cost no. you a car. Stop That's not me. a bad look. That's worse. I think the woman wore it better. Yep. Um, you know, beautiful coat, but Very nice. I'm not, not like, I'm not my my ideas about fashion have not been changed. <laughs> right. I did like this look. I was thinking about saying maybe it's the one yeah. that I like, just because it yeah. kind of looks like a a worn canvas. Hmm. I think yeah, it's pretty very good. interesting. Oh, what do you think? It like a velvet velour? Yeah, pattern? yeah, like a crushed velvet kind yeah, of thing. But yeah, I, I think it's got a good look. This is that hat. Will is actually that's a success. That is a success. I hundred percent agree. Will that yep. will sell. Um, checkerboards go lower. Yeah, a lot of checkerboards. Oh, Who, I don't like this. this. What? Yeah, that's ugly. Yeah, ugly. All right, let's get out of the... Ch- oh, here. We um, definitely want to talk yeah, about this. Where's, so we... Yeah. yeah. We got Pusha T. Is that his brother? Yeah, I think it's Clips, right? It's like yeah, Pokemon. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... Yeah. Rec- I know I know Pusha T, and that guy kind of looks like him. So <laughs> that <I'm> like, guy. <laughs> right, right, right. Maybe. Um, the While I think it's cool, Ooh. you know, I like to see him. You know, yep. I love to see him on the runway. Yeah. That coat looks like it was a, a leftover from Virgil, right? Yeah. yeah. Like he that 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 looks like like Virgil did like um, uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz. Yep. You know, and he did those Wizard of Oz prints. 
Yeah. Like, that looks like it's trying to be like the font, like a Wizard of Oz font. Like I, I genuinely think it looks too much like those other things. Right. Maybe maybe the, the design team was like, listen, we got this coat. We should just put it out there. Just put push a T in it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, it's a cool I, I coat, get but it's a statement piece. It's like a show piece, but like from both a literal visual aesthetic level and also just like a breaking new ground for the brand level it's like a, a failure on on all of them yeah like i just i guess it's like probably this is i know is like a that's like a, a boundary pushing kind of piece but the fact of the matter is a guy already did that and he was the mm -hmm. guy before you and i i don't know not that's a pass you know yeah this is probably a pass for me yep all right let's, let's get ahead a bit i do this was almost my smash. That was almost too a smash for me. Yep. Just because talk about Louis Vuitton Don status. Yeah, right? <laughs> like a, a full length fur coat. Yeah. And I think what I also like about it is the referencing to like the hip hop street culture cachet of Louis Vuitton and the way that it looks like one of those kind of bootlegs. Yeah. 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 Like it, it doesn't it doesn't look real. <laughs> Yeah, but it, they, does, but it also looks like the best thing ever made. Yeah, they unrolled this on Canal Street. Right, right. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, Killian, if you ever come, I'll take you to Canal Street. We could buy you some fake Louis Vuitton stuff. There you go. So, okay, stop. Go back. Okay. That was my smash. That's my smash. This was my smash. smash. Okay. I like it. I think that first off, visually, this is a look that stands out to me. It does. That coat is like I'm trying to like understand it. Right. And I I thought that the denim, like I I like the mm. the the woman, like I was going to pick the the one before it, but I picked yeah. this one because it just yeah. had. I don't know. They this one's better. Also, own. just like the the color story of it is better. Yeah, I yeah. just really like this. I like how it fits. I like yeah. the kind of extravagance of it. This is my favorite look from the show. Let's pop on. What was what was your pass? Um, I might have put Pusha T just because I, I so. thought I that that too. like that piece so much looked like it was taken from a yeah. previous show yeah. that it was just like I, 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 even if this is such a crazy item, yep, it looks like it's a leftover. And yeah. I think my other pass was when they just had that guy going down in the um, golf cart. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. Because golf cart guy. because I'm not gonna wear that. <laughs> I can't wear a golf cart. Um, you know it's bad when it's like, yeah, just put on the golf cart guy. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I mean, I would love to own a golf cart. Sure. But... So, um, while we're doing these, why not? My smash was yes. actually this guy right here. Do you think you're Eddie Salmon pelt? Yes, because you picked this because yes. that's. Kind of yeah. big Celine vibes. Exactly. Huh? Uh, this coat, I love the texture of it. Yeah. I don't understand what's happening here, but I like it. I think it's like a, uh, what is it? It's like B B O U L E. B -l -b -l -e. Oh, like boule. Boule. Yeah. Boule. Yeah. yeah. I think it might be like that. So I very much like this. And I just like a clean black tailored look underneath. Yeah. I think it's very well put together. It's very Eddie. Uh, it's yeah. not bringing any new ground, but I picked this as my smash because I would wear the shit out of it. Yeah, hell yeah, yes. I, uh, my past, sure. we actually, I don't think we even looked at. <laughs> Good. Whoo! Yeah, I don't know, guys. So this is a pro skater, Deshaun Jordan. Not a, not a great runway model, apparently. He's not doing it any favors, but the every piece of this itself is rough. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, so, here's, so this could be good. It could be good, maybe. But the mix of glossy and matte is like killing me. Yeah. Killing me. I, yeah. Yeah. I guess I agree. I guess I agree with you. It's just not. It's just like silhouette wise, fit wise. I don't think it really works here for me. No. That's a no from me, dog. No from us. All right, let's see if let's see some of the else. edge. Um, um, that's some, a lot cool, of these pieces are interesting. That's cool, but very Kim Jones. Yeah. Um, I don't like those coats, but you know, not bad. Not bad though. 
No, um, not bad. Not bad. I That's really right. like these pearl. Oh, it's pearl pieces. That's kind of cooler now. I think it's. I think that's cool. There also. I'm gonna skip ahead to these pants. Yeah, that's kind of grail status. Exactly. But once again, guys, remember, you you do you will never own these. <laughs> never because because they they cost too much that mm -hmm. they will never end up in resale. Like you think, oh, so no. buy, oh I'll no. spend five hundred dollars on grail. It will never happen. No. Okay. Some bellhop going on. Yeah, like. Right away, sir. Exactly. And I'm not mad about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, this I one, wish this is a reference piece, this jacket. Um, this is like something that Pharrell wore and remade here, essentially. He wore a varsity jacket? Yeah, with the like PA on it. Like it's it's like an exact, you know. Okay, okay. Reference. It's just there's some kind of story there, sure. This I don't know what show blink. this is from. Uh, he's holding two bags. Double bag in it. And oh wait, look at that guy. That's kind of fun. Uh ooh, eh. I don't know, guy. I don't know it's a lot of this. But I will say this is the quote unquote good part of the show. Yeah, yeah. The end is a good part. So. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know, guys, my we can be critical all day. I, I, if I if 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 they try if I was told to that was probably my I think that's what I put as my pass. Is this I'm like I can't wear that. Yeah, um, guys, if I was ever like given the keys, I would have this would have been horrendous under my <laughs> yeah yeah. Right? Okay, right. I'm just saying I can yeah. be critical. It's easy to throw stones from over here. Pharrell, considering. That he is a musician slash producer, and he just came to like the biggest fat house mm -hmm. and, and put on quite a show. Mm -hmm. That's an I accomplishment. Liked, it was, even if it wasn't like um, groundbreaking. I do, th I would classify it as confident, which I'm happy. Yeah, to, it was you know? confident. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes.